the essence of the spirit is love and the essence of the spirit lives in all things in challenging times like this the most inspiring and productive thing we could all do is invoke the wisdom of our very own spirit by invoking the wisdom of our spirit we would find each other and meet in the middle where everything began i think that what's challenging is that we don't really as a collective we don't have a reference point or we don't have a whole lot of tools for why we are programmed the way we are how we are and how we start to identify with things that um create energy thought forms and an emo- and emotions within us that prevent us from seeing each other as the same there is a living paradox in the times that we are living in and that is that yes the spirit is made of only love and that is the essence of creation but most of us aren't identified with the spirit we're identified with thought and we're identified with stagnant emotion pain and emotion and thought create in an imbalance of action on a micro level we're all learning and growing and transforming and life is giving us the experiences we need to transform when we don't meet experience and pull out the lesson life the universe god sends that lesson right back in another form that's what's happening right now to the collective consciousness on a macro level you see the civil unrest all around the world uh you know from the yellow vests to hong kong you know protests and riots everywhere and what we're going through right now in real time with uh you know with race although we see a clear divide i think through limited perception we want to see it as black and white but from a deeper dimension what we need to see is we need to see it between the conscious and the unconscious right consciousness lives on a spectrum and there are two factions to consciousness the conscious and the unconscious within both of those factions there is a, a a spectrum within both and there's a range of consciousness that's how you can have a dalai lama a jesus christ a buddha and you can also have an adolf hitler a saddam hussein and a stalin right consciousness has always existed on this planet in a multitude of forms with the form vibrating at different frequencies so what we need to recognize is that a collective atonement is being called into neutral observation and the atonement is that since the inception of this country and long held throughout the world there has been a racial hierarchy and the reason why it is so disturbingly visible at this point is because we are meant to be uncomfortable because we're being challenged to transform it through the light of the spirit to gather together and to cross this threshold into a new framework of consciousness where we are no longer ruled or governed by our egos right which are factioned up through conceptual thought which is conditioned through systems such as religion government education culture ethnicity etc so we're being called to recognize it to see we've been divided and we're being called to fall into the deepest dimension of ourselves and access the power of our spirit project it through the heart right now the only way we are going to reach a collective transformation is by starting on a micro level and analyzing through introspection and through the transmutation of energy and all the inner dysfunction that lives inside of us transmuting it 
raising the vibrational frequency within our own individual form and therefore elevating the collective consciousness. We need to understand this from a spiritual perspective. It is the only way to transform the collective. Neutrally speaking, those who are more in touch with the essence of their spirit see the spirit in all things. This isn't something that should offend anybody, right? The creator of creation discrimi discriminates against nothing it created. We are here to embody the light of our soul, the essence of spirit, which is love. I know that there's a lot of pain and a lot of heartache, but right now the most profound thing we can do is offer our own inner transformation to the world. There would be no stars without the godlike backdrop of a blackened night. The sun reaches my skin and its light pierces through all the pain. My heart cries as I remember my place in all of existence. I will not be skinned. <laughs>